Good morning, everyone. This morning we are going to talk about one kind of philosophical uh, quotation. We are going to elaborate this quotation given to us by Geoffrey Chaucer. This quotation goes like this: "Mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, mea culpa." It's my fault. English is, it is my fault. Mea maxima culpa, it is my, the biggest fault. Chaucer in 1340, he said this. And even today, this quotation is very popular, used by lots of people. Whenever they make mistake, when they do something, and it proves to be a mistake. They don't actually make any kind of mistake, but they actually are wrong in their judgment call. For example, you hire someone, give that person a good salary to take care of your business, but that person is going to steal money out of your business. That is mea culpa, mea mechanism. I hired him. I took him into my business and that is why he stole it. It was my fault, not his fault. <laughs> or say, for example, uh, people of the nation elect to some wrong leader, and that leader is actually going to take the nation to war or destroy the nation, or that leader proves to be rotten, corrupt person. Then people are going to say, Mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. It was our fault that we made him prime minister or president. Recent example, you see uh, Clinton, uh, sorry, uh, Trump. Trump was elected by the people who Trump did. Trump actually devastated more than one million Americans. He never accepted, never acknowledged that COVID is a disease. COVID is a killer virus. He was always opposite to what the medical community was saying, misleading people. He was telling people to use all kinds of garbage, including that detergent. He used to recommend the people to drink detergent and the COVID will be gone. COVID is going to not kill you, but you kill the COVID. No medical community, not even a doctor worth the salt is going to believe that. But this was the leader, this was the president chosen, elected by the people of America. Now American, after all this devastation that he carried out, including insurrection on the Capitol Hill and the loss of people died because of him and all that. Now, people of America, the Americans would say, mea culpa. Mia Megzima culpa. It was our fault. It was our biggest fault that we elected Trump. I have actually created four points to elaborate this Chaucerian court. Mia culpa, mia Megzima culpa. Number one is you create your own Frankenstein. Frankenstein means frenemy. You thought all your life that that person is your friend, but ultimately you find out, you found out that that person was not your friend, but it was your enemy, looking like friend, acting like a friend, treating you like a friend. Every single thing he was doing looked like friend. He was frenemy. And that frenemy means Frankenstein. Frankenstein means someone that you actually did everything for that person. Say, for example, God forbid a father actually raised the son with his blood and his sweat. He provided every single thing for the son. He gave him best education. He spent lots of money on the son for education. But then son after marriage discard the parents, desert the parents, and son and his wife, they both leave them and run away somewhere. That is Frankenstein. So, 
Chaucer is saying that mea culpa means a person actually makes mistake without without any kind of knowledge, any kind of previous knowledge or prior knowledge about that person. That person looks like a like our friend. That person looks like our sympathizer. That person looks like uh, our main Friday. And all of a sudden, you know that that person turns Frankenstein, harm us, hurt us, destroy us. Number two, you regret your blunder. At that particular time, when you make the decision. Every single thing looked to you like judgment call was perfect. You had no doubt about it. You had no any kind of skepticism. You were hundred percent sure that you made the right decision. But after that, you found out that the decision was absolutely wrong. Now you regret about it. Usually happens. I should not say it, but this is the fact. Usually it happens in the marriage life. Initially, both. Both actually make this kind of decision that both are made for each other and both are for perfect for each other and both are going to live long lives together and both are going to be helpful to each other in thick and thin, in, in health or sickness. They laugh a lot, they talk a lot, they eat lots of chocolates together, but it happens. In America, two couples... Two marriages end up in divorce. Two marriages end up in divorce out of three. Sixty-seven percent of the marriages end up in divorce. Now, they did not marry to divorce. Very first time they met, they were you know exchanging pleasantry and frequently saying "I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you." But this couple actually ended up in divorce because Nia Kunpa. Then both of, both of them realized that we were not actually made for each other. We were not friends, but we were frenemies. We were Frankenstein. And now they regret their blunder of getting married to that particular person. Number three, some deeds will decimate you. Some of your deeds are going to destroy you. You do, look, I give you my own example. I had a relative in our community. I invested 20 lakh rupees with him in a Bangalore shop. And that was in 1988, 89. 20, 20 lakh at the time was like two crore rupees today. That person was very pious. This person was very nice. This person was performing six times namaz instead of five. He would enter in masjid before anyone and they leave masjid after everyone. He created this kind of image in the general society that he is the perfect person. I, spent, I invested 20 lakh rupees and I gave him the key of my shop over there in Bangalore, Bangalore and think what he did. He gobbled up. Gobbled up my money, gobbled up my shop. After lots of hassles and, and messy litigations, we, I got my money back, but still I lost four lakh rupees and the shop was totally gone. He did not release the t shop out of his control. Now that was my fracas time. I trusted him. I believed in him. I put my faith in him. I put my money in him. I gave him the key of my shop. And that bastard turned out to be a bigger bastard. That is called Frankenstein. And then I realized, and I was saying, Mia culpa. Mia megzima culpa. It was my fault that I trusted that Raman. I trusted that Yazid. It was my big mistake. Point number four. For some are minor boo-boos. Some mistakes you make are very small. And still, you that, that turn out to be your mistake of judgment call, wrong side of the judgment call. But the mistake is boo boo. It's a small mistake. You lose, you know, five ten thousand rupees. You can tolerate it. It's a minor boo boo. But sometimes there are major tragedies, like God forbid, any you make any kind of 
wrong judgment call or you are on the side of the wrong judgment call in your marriage in your education in your investment like i did that would be a major tragedy you are never going to recover out of that kind of decimation so this is mia kulpa mia megima kulpa this is my fault and this is my major fault said by english poet chaucer in the 14th century that's all the time we have thank you very much for listening see you again next time until then god bless everyone on this planet and remember silly people lose everything and smart people use everything lose it or use it use it if you are smart lose it if you are silly kind bye